I'll take over cooking duties today. So I guess there's no harm in letting her use it then, Captain. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Download if you will. You can't see that, but it says 79%. I got Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare with this awesome donation. I can't wait to play it when I wake up. It's time to go to sleep. There is no camera rainbow. Well, there, there is a camera rainbow. It's like, I hate it. I hate it. Somebody make it go away. If I have to go back to using a flip, I'm going to kill myself. Oh. Delicious. Oh, no. Just, sound, just sounds bad. Cooking with Dante's face. Because the beef I bought expires soon. Let's let's do that. Okay, so if you can hear me without the sound of this exhaust going everywhere, about a week ago, some people were asking about the burritos that I make, and they were wondering how to. I'm just turning this on. Team Breaker, and then realized I didn't. You know, team. I realized I didn't do that. Good afternoon. It's night time. Team Breaker. What's my hair look like? I feel like I look. Ridiculous. More so than usual. Oh, yeah. That's right. Nice and bouncy in the front. Perfect. It was just my shampoo. Anyway, so as I was saying, some people wanted to know how I make those burritos because they saw from previous vlogs. Newer subscribers, you guys. Uh, and so I was like, oh, okay. So I'm going to show you how to make them again. What they are is basically beef, cheese, and taco seasonings all in a pan, really. So you take, you take a pan, okay, like a skillet, like a pan, and then you, you just, you know, take your beef, throw it in, cut it up, and then cover it with the pan, and then take your spoon, I use this wooden one, and just sort of cut into the beef, separate it some more, because when it cooks, it starts to stick together because of the juices and uh, other g giant technical cooking terms that I don't understand, and... Um, Yes, so the reason you cover it is to keep all the heat internal so everything will cook uh, underneath the cover, realistically. Kind of like Batman. Beneath the cover of night, you will cook your meat. So just let it sit underneath there. Normally, um, if you're a normal person, you have like a lid that would go on top of it. I don't have that lid anymore, I, or I never had one. Because when I went pots and pans shopping, that's a lie. I never went pots and pans. I just got pots and pans given to me, my mom. And, and then I was like, mom, no. And she's like, yeah, oh my God, Dante. So then um, she gave me a bunch of pots and pans that don't really fit. But anyway, so you need beef, you need tail off. I like the small pieces. Big pieces work too, like jumbo shrimps, whatever. But um, make sure that, it, that it's tail off. Because if there's tails, then you have to spend time picking the tails out. Sure, it's awesome if you enjoy that. I don't. And then you need taco seasoning. What I grab is, oh, I forgot there's rice in it too. I get Ortega taco seasoning, 40% less sodium because being conscious, you know, I gotta be conscious. And then two bags of this rice, this uh, Mexican rice. And then we'll move on to the next step. Mario Batali would be proud. While you're cooking your beef, you wanna prep these rice bags, and that means you gotta. Get in there, girl! Get in there! And you have to crush up the the, the rice inside because it's it's all like stupid and tough. And then you want to sort of shake it. There we go. One minute in the heat, it's like popcorn. So when it comes out, it's like really steamy hot. Don't burn your face off. It's pretty scary if you do that. And then you want to take your whole thing of seasoning, the taco seasoning, and just get it in here now and stir this up. Because you see how there's like steam coming off of here. And uh, that's the steam from the juice that the meat is leaking out. So that's going to help cook this stuff. That's why you wanted to keep the internal. You can add water. The problem is you got to do all this pretty quick because if you don't, your beef is going to dry up and it's not going to taste good. And women don't like it when your beef, when beef is dry. They hate it. They can taste it and they hate it. And since this is the only thing I know how to make, I'm pretty much F. If you're starting to see that there is no more juice, just make a hole in the center. 
and then bring it over to the sink and add some water. Because this, the beef isn't done cooking yet, but you just want this sort of to give off a steam room effect. And then you take your shrimp, and this is how easy this is. I don't suggest you take all of the shrimp and put it in, but just take like little handfuls of shrimp and just sort of add it to your beef like this. There you go. And the important part about this is the shrimp is gonna add shrimp juice, right? Liquid. And then that's gonna get mixed in. I'm gonna just wash your hands. Rinse them off at least. And the shrimp juice is gonna get in with the taco seasoning and all of this is gonna combine. So you're gonna have an all around very taco flavored burrito uh, concoctionarian that you can throw together. What's that a word? Was that a word? Somebody Google concoction, dictionary.com. I'm probably using it wrong. But anyway, that's what you wanna do. So you have the shrimp flavor, the beef, and the taco seasoning all hanging out all together like this. Just sort of do that and make sure that your shrimp's all coated and then you cover it back up again. Like so. There you go. And then that's all going to cook underneath there and become delicious. So let's see. What do we got? We should be good. Everything should be nice and, and sexed up in there. Oh, it smells great. So we're, gonna, we're, we're done with this. This is all done cooking. There we go. And that's it. That's the... That's really the mixture. Pour the rice in. Booyah, you're done. You keep tooting and it's really disgusting. It's so smelly. Stop tooting in the house. Quit it. That's the gas that comes out of your butt. You toot again and I'll, I'll do this a lot more than I do. You hate this. It's like, oh no, not the whiskers, not the whiskers. Let me know if you guys feel the same way. Like if this is why people don't really like it too much. I can't tell when I'm killing somebody. Like, I don't see the numbers that come up that say, you killed them, you know, you got 100 monies or whatever the fuck it is. I don't see that. So I can't tell when anyone's dead. And, I, you know, and then obviously the bullshit comment I think of is, you'll know when someone's dead when they're dead and they're not shooting you anymore. And I'm like, oh, it's so stupid. But uh, the campaign is neat, uh, but it's just, I, I think that's why Modern Warfare 2 is so much better than this one, because it's in the States. It's not in, like, Saudi Arabia and, like, random shit. I'm, I'm past the part where, what's his name, the, the Marine dies, um, Jackson. There's the nuke goes off and shit, which was cool. I like Soap, he's awesome, dude. I, I, he doesn't do anything. But his name is cool. And then I just get, I just finished the sniper mission with me and Captain Morgan. We had to get some pirates or something as we were snipers. And there's a part where you have to like go around this dog and I'm like, it's just a dog. Whatever, handled. And then like fucking 90 dogs come out of nowhere and you're just like, Argh! All I can tell you is this. Playing this is making me look forward to Modern Warfare 3. And uh, I will be doing the campaign of that, even though the campaign's kind of going to be difficult to do. I got to make sure that I save and hit checkpoints often enough. Breaking news! He's been punished enough just by seeing this go public like this. And I think he just really needs help and rehabilitation. We need to get him counseling or Do something. you have any regrets, by the way, of releasing this now, now that this has gone so public and so many people have watched it? Any regrets? Well, I regret that some of my friends and some people close to me have kind of had trouble with this and of course I regret that it's my own father. See that was that's the girl. She's 23 now or something and she's like oh yeah I don't I don't hate my dad I just I want him to get help and then blah blah blah. You know what I think I speak for a lot more people when I say that uh, I think your dad does need help. I, I think he needs help being introduced to a bullet in his fucking head. Oh boy, I don't have her strength. If this happened to me, I'd be like, do you think your daddy hate your dad? I'd be like, hell yeah, I hate my fucking dad. He beat my ass. I hope he burns in hell. Oh boy. I, I, there's no way I could be all like, very, she's being very professional about this, being very PC. I would like to think that when she goes home and goes, you know, behind closed doors, she's just like, I can't believe I had to tell them that I want my dad to get help. I hate that fucker. I hate him too, girl. She'll make a little bit of money on that video. And then... She can, I don't know, s spend it on her dad. And you can, you can hire an assassin. 
I'm not saying you should. Not a suggestion. It's just an idea. What are you bothering me for? Do you think she should get an assassination edition? Mm -hmm. Hardened edition? It looks like a day that it's going to snow. It hasn't snowed yet. And around here, this is about the time it starts to snow. Sometimes it snows on Halloween. But I'm going to hate it. Snow, I hate snow. I'm going to check on these rendered videos and watch the rest of Zammed, hopefully, and this bitter, tragic anime. Oh my god. It's so boring. The only thing that keeps my attention in Zammed is that I don't know what a Zammed is. <laughs> and I don't know who these white-haired kids are, and I just want to see an epic fight at the end, and I doubt that's going to even happen. So anyway, I'm watching Zammed. Still. And I, ah, what wow, episode of my own? 22 of like 25? Let me just explain some things. I, I don't even give a shit if I spoil this anime for you, if you're an anime fan. Because it's so fucking stupid that it doesn't matter. Even if you watch it, you're like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Let's start off with the simple shit. The main character is supposed to be able to transform into this like super humanoid form, right? And then do things. But he never does anything. He can change his arm into a blade and cut things. He meets a girl who understands what he is, but teaches him not to do battle and kill other things that are like him, which I don't get, because then there's no fighting. And then they're on this ship, and it's a postal ship, and he's learning how to be, uh, how to cope and live with this thing in his arm called a Haruko, which is the thing that changes him into Zammed. And then he gets lost. He changes into Zammed, has a f short fight that ends up being really gay. And then he gets lost and the mask is on his face, like the part of him that's transformed stays on his face. I know I'm confusing a lot of people, but just follow me here, okay? He's lost, then he's found by this lady, and then he goes through this arc where he changes and he remembers his name. And then his girlfriend, well, the girl who's in love with him finds him. After she makes a bunch of fucking random stupid decisions that don't make sense, she joins the military. Something about stuff I don't remember. And then she cuts her hair because she's ready to commit to the military or something. And then she realizes she doesn't want to be a part of the military anymore. After her friend kills himself by taking his hand and ripping off his own fucking head. Okay, so, uh, we following? Let's keep going. And then some stuff happened, and I even forgot what happened in the previous episode. Boyfriend, girlfriend, they meet up, they get together. Everybody has this change of clothes, where like now people are wearing different clothes. And I'm only talking about like three characters so far, right? That doesn't even talk about all the other characters that, that are just... Nothing is fucking explained to you in this show. It is so fucking dumb. And then they meet this white-haired guy who's going to take him to this place called the Quickening Chamber, which I guess is where... Zammed is supposed to go for some ritual or whatever. Then they get there and the guy go the guy explains to them that everybody's there to sacrifice themselves to die to preserve the future of the world. And that's got something to do with Zammed. And so this whole time this kid is trying to figure out what Zammed is. Like what does Zammed seek? And it's this big like question that he's supposed to really just ponder on and 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 it, it, it could be one of these cool moments, but it's not. So anyway, there's a character in this story known as the Commander. Uh, there's this relationship between the Commander and this Doctor, and there's actually a point where the Commander's putting a gun to his head and saying, you saved my life, but I'm super, I'm like Hitler, so why don't I just kill myself? And I'm just like, not, I don't I just don't care about this character enough to care if he kills himself or not. And then something happens. And then, and then he's dead. Uh, uh, and, and I don't care. I don't fucking care. And then the mom and the dad of the boy who's becoming Zammed, uh, they're like separated. They're thinking about getting a divorce. And they just never fucking love each other ever. They're like, they're just like the dad is too stupid and he's awkward. And the mom is just as awkward, but she's like super Japanese mom. So she's always making lunch and cooking and cleaning and shit. And then, and then all of a sudden they have this really great kissing scene. And it's like, now they're back together. And it's, and it's like, I don't care if they get back together. I'm not, I'm not told why I should care. And that's the problem with this show. What's really fucked up is they don't, these, these suits, these like little sort of like bird suits, these kids are all, they're wearing the suits. All throughout the show, there's like two or three scenes where, they sh where they're just going to places and using their staffs 
they go up to like dead bodies who people are people were killed in air raids and they go and they I don't know how to word this except for the way it's the way it is they go up to dead bodies and suck out the souls of people primarily dead women who have pregnant who are pregnant when they die they suck out the soul of the dead pregnant woman's baby and you're like None of this is fucking explained. Everything is so cool and interesting, and you're like, wow, this is cool. I can't wait till they get to the part where they explain what everything is. Like these little seeds, and apparently all these monsters in the in the show are like weapons that are born from like seeds and stuff. That's a bit, that's all I know. It's green water, seeds, and there's a north and versus the south war, and there's an island in the middle. Don't watch Zam, it's a shit anime, it's fuck. Is it, and you know what, the worst part about it is, it's made by Bones and Aniplex, and it's really awesome looking. I mean, look at this. I mean, this is, this is really cool. I mean, this is top notch, top quality, uh, I mean, I didn't show you that much, but you know what I mean? Like, this isn't like shit. And this always makes me think about like, why would they take something like this that was a manga and then turn it into a fucking anime? Like when they make the decision to do that. And you know what? I'm getting really good at figuring out which one of these shows are derived from a manga and which one of them don't. This one doesn't. Why? Because no comic book audience would approve of half the shit this story is telling us. This, this is such a shit anime. Oh, I want to kill myself. Zamd isn't even a cool hero character. It's not even... He's only changed into the thing twice in the whole show. Once in the first episode, and then once in like the 17th episode. So yeah, I'm gonna go, I don't know what. What do you, I don't know, what do you want to do? Zam sucks, what do you think of that? Should we just not watch it anymore? I don't know, if you're gonna lay down and watch it with me, then I guess I can put up with it a little longer. Yeah, I know, it's boring. I'm gonna put the image of the anime when you see it, and you consider you, that you want to buy it, um, up on the screen. What does that look like to you? Looks like a pretty cool show about a guy who transforms or some kind of monster and the girl that he carries around in his left arm because his right arm's a sword. And maybe without her, he goes berserk. And his hand is pretty much holding her legs. And this thing gets you interested. This is like, wow, I want to totally wow. I wonder what this relationship between this girl and guess what happened? That happens once in like the fucking second episode. And that's it. You never see that happen again. Never again. They're not even wearing the same outfit. Another thing, there's like some shit timing with the dubbing. Like you'll see people do this. It's like, oh, don't feel so bad, little man. At least you're gonna know that you're here home alone again. Like the timing is wrong in some of the, in some, not all, but in some of it. There isn't a second intro that sort of pulls you into the fact that there was an arc recently. All the characters are wearing the same clothes, shit, whatever. It's just, it's not what it says it is. It's not what it presents to you. That one in Blast Writer, Blast Writer was like shit inside of a shit crafted can. And then the shit on the inside is like still warm and wick witty, gross. Puke, you have my permission to puke now. That's how fucking bad. And then this guy's like, derp, derp, derp. I don't know. I got clipboard. I mean, some characters, and that's another thing. That's the only thing that I think is hilarious about this show is that when they did the dubbing, some characters just sound like, like you know, like Crewman James here or whoever this guy is. You know, it doesn't matter who these people are. Random people who are in frame. Some of these guys just sound so ridiculous. And they're just like, yeah, but I have orders to keep you out of the player bomber. And you're just like, wow, that guy's more interesting than the main character because he's got a fucked up voice. And I think they did that on purpose as sort of a, hey, this show is pretty fucked up. Let's make some of these characters sound stupid. Yeah? And then somebody was like, yeah, yeah, smart. Okay, I just, remember here, this is where I left off. I just hit play and the two things I was bitching about just so happened to happen. One, this character, the guy on the right, is supposed to be saying a line that sounds a lot like this. It's as if they blah, 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 blah. Listen to what he says, and then right after that is another character. These characters are usually like military type people who just says something in like the most ridiculously dumb voice. This one's not so ridiculous, but 
It just, just look, and these two things happen like right after. It's as if, listen to that. Uh, all those people gathered down here to worship. What will happen? It's, it's as if they want to be hit. We have a message from Fleet Command. Rear guard is to remain in the south side defensive position. The pants of projector. We got a job of the defensive. Can you hear that? Can you hear the defensive projector? Defensive projector. Do you hear that? These people are professional voice actors? I don't think so. It's as if, uh, last I checked it was it's as if, not it's, it's, it's as if. God, there's so many things wrong with this anime. And this guy, he's in most of this fucking show. He's in almost every single episode. And they don't explain what the fuck he is or who he is or why he's doing what he's doing. He just has, he's got purple shit on his face and silver hair. Therefore, he's one of those people. Like, like we're fucking supposed to know. We don't even know that! Oh, I just want somebody to put a bullet in his head. Please tell me he dies at the end. I'll take over cooking duties today. So I guess there's no harm in letting her use it then, Captain. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. This is a daily vlog. That means there'll be a vlog tomorrow. Click up there to see the next vlog. That is what my dog looked like when she looks a lot like Nasus from League of Legends. Don't forget about stuff. And... The lens isn't broken because I headbutt my camera. Get cracked!